Hi, this is Jonathan Dubois from Nutanix. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use LCM, or Lifecycle Manager, to perform a non-disruptive AOS and AHV update. Let's get started. First, make sure you're logged into Prism Element for the cluster that you wish to upgrade. At the top of the screen, click Home, and then choose LCM. When you run an LCM scan, the system's going to automatically update the LCM framework to the latest version available. To perform the inventory, simply click the Options button in the top right corner and click Perform Inventory. LCM will then scan all the nodes in the cluster and present you with a list of things that can be updated. This normally takes a few minutes. Depending on the size of your cluster, the scan could take a little bit longer. As a best practice, we recommend performing an NCC or Nutanix cluster check before performing any updates. To do this, simply click the link and then choose if you want to run all checks or just specific checks. For the purposes of an upgrade, I recommend performing all checks. You can then optionally configure to have the report emailed to you, but since I don't have SMTP configured on my cluster, we'll go through and we'll pull the results from PRISM. NCC generally takes a minute or two to run, depending on the size of the cluster. When it's finished, you'll be able to see the results from the Tasks page. Click the menu, and then click Tasks. You'll see that the status is succeeded. Simply click the link and then you can review the result. We just want to make sure that there are no fail checks. Everything looks good, so let's go over to the LCM page, click on Software, and then we can review what's available for update. LCM will pre-select the latest available hypervisor and AOS releases, but you can always click the version number and choose an earlier release if needed. You can also review what you're currently running by hovering over this link. You'll also find a convenient link to the release notes for the specific version that you've selected. By default, both AOS and AHV updates are selected. LCM will automatically satisfy dependencies and honor the proper order of operations for performing updates. But for this video, I'm going to demonstrate each update independently. I'm going to click AOS and click Update at the top. Then I click Next to confirm our selection and click the Apply button. Three checks are then run, and then LCM downloads any necessary software from our portal or an internal web server if your cluster doesn't have internet connectivity. Once that's complete, LCM will then orchestrate the updates that you've selected. You can monitor the progress by clicking the down arrow next to the stage. Now that LCM's done updating, I noticed that we have an alarm at the top. Let's take a look. Since I told LCM to only apply the AOS update and not the AHV dependency, I now have an alarm from Nutanix cluster check letting me know that my AHV version is now incompatible with my AOS version. To fix this, all we have to do is go back to LCM and kick off that update. Let's click Software. We see that we now have the AHV hypervisor update. We'll see the versions that we have available. We're going to go to the latest, 434, and hit Save. And then we're just going to click Update at the top. We're going to review the updates that we've chosen. And we're good to go. We're going to click on Apply. And just like our AOS update that we did earlier, LCM will run pre-checks, download any necessary software from the portal, and go node by node applying the hypervisor update and performing any VM live migrations and rolling restarts as needed. Now let's fast forward to the end of the update. Let's click back to Inventory, and if we hover over the AHV hypervisor version, we can see the .434 version that we applied earlier, as well as a record of the last time that it was updated. Under the AOS column, we'll also see the time that we applied the AOS update earlier in this video. If we click our name in the top right corner and click on About Nutanix, we'll see that that version matches, 5.15.1.1. .1 .1. I hope you enjoyed this video and found the information useful. Take care.